observation. Right? Fourth and fifth graders are finding out what they can do with science, technology, engineering, and math. I mean, STEM education has always been viewed as a mechanism for success in careers. This class is a new after-school program, a partnership between local nonprofit Boys Hope Girls Hope of Cincinnati and Xavier Jesuit Academy. When you make learning fun, you make it engaging, you make it hands-on, that's the beginning of opening them up to every kind of educational opportunity in the world. The leaders at Boys Hope, Girls Hope, and Xavier Jesuit Academy hope these steps aren't just for getting to class, but they're steps for the rest of their life. The program wants the lessons of today. We want our kids to get the skills and trades of the 21st century. To be the solutions of tomorrow. I feel like STEM education is the number one weapon to fight poverty. Not just for the kids themselves, but for our entire community. That's 38 students that can economically, in the future, add to the city of Cincinnati. Even with time after school inside the classroom, the Boys Hope Girls Hope scholars are making every minute count. So it's kind of fun that we get to stay after school longer and do this. And because you get to be with your friends while you code. The students getting the chance to learn how to code. It's not connected to something that you need to throw it away. And also learn what computer programming can do. What I call it is kind of like this. While, of course, showing off their dance moves. The organization plans to continue working with these students all the way through eighth grade to help these scholars find their path. The ability to imagine themselves in roles that they never would have foreseen themselves if they hadn't become engaged with STEM education. In Bond Hill, Sam Harris-Simowitz, WCPO 9 News.